It is safe to say that 2022 has been a thrilling year for our horror and sci-fi geeks. It was almost a post-COVID treat from ghost-faced murderers to UFOs and even cannibals. All domains have been more or less covered. But with the holidays approaching, 2023 is not far away and it definitely had some adrenaline racing horror and sci-fi shows in store that deserve equal attention. The new year has some quality content to rave about with well-constructed supernatural storylines and power-packed action alongside famous adaptations making their way onto the small screen. Although this year has made its mark through movies and shows like David Cronberg's Crimes of the Future, The Menu, Scream, Smile, etc., 2023 is all pumped up to set new standards. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. The Last of Us It took the Naughty Dog classic series The Last of Us 7 years post a movie announcement to finally turn from a video game into a full-blown TV series. This spine-chilling post-apocalyptic survival horror game is to make its official debut at HBO and Sky Atlantic on 16th January 2023. Set in the year 2033, this plot revolves around 20 years into a post-apocalyptic world. Half of its population has been wiped out by a fungal infestation that attacks the brain, gradually turning its victims brutally deranged and feral. This innovative infestation also destroys the eyes of its victims, compelling them to use echolocation to track people down and, of course, tear their throats out. So far, from what we understood, this is a story of tough dude survivor Joel, who's been tasked to bring a teenager named Ellie to safety from the ravages of the wasteland to a bunch of doctors who assume that Ellie is the cure to this doomed plague. As they make their way to their destination, the show intricately documents their experiences through the ruins of Boston and Salt Lake City, where they run into the usual post-apocalyptic shenanigans of a few cannibals to a group of infected individuals, some colossal douchebags, and a giraffe making a run for its life after escaping the zoo. While the show is religiously set to follow the first game, it is also expected to integrate a few elements from the game sequel, The Last of Us 2. For the game fans, the good news would be an indication of a more definitive and explored version of the game's storyline, which was mentioned by one of the show's creators, Craig Mazin. According to creative director Neil Druckmann, Craig Mazin has adapted the show in such a manner that the plot has been designed to enhance and fill things out in a way that it only has a scope for expansion, indicating that the Chernobyl director has not limited to another miniseries. Naughty Dog's Joel, Troy Baker, has himself affirmed for the stellar cast of The Last of Us, where Television World's favorite dad, Pedro Pascal, plays the role of Joel alongside the Game of Thrones actress Bella Ramsey as Ellie. While both of them hoard the lead roles for the show, Gabriel Luna is set to play Tommy, Joel's younger brother. Nico Parker will star as Joel's daughter, Sarah and Anna Tor will be cast as Tess, Joel's friend and smuggling companion. The teaser trailer that was released on 26 September looks extremely promising, with new and improved elements and interesting character arcs, and rather has an organic connection with the game to keep the original video game enthusiasts and newcomers hooked alike. The Walking Dead Dead City The Walking Dead's TV universe is notably a massive hit and is back with another interesting spin-off, Dead City, which was formally announced to be titled as The Isle of the Dead. During New York's Comic-Con 2022, The Walking Dead panel showcased the first look images of the show where Norman Reedus teased fans by vividly hinting towards horror images of the new Walking Dead spin-off to be aired sometime in April 2023. He affirmed that it's unlike anything anyone has ever seen before, giving us a good shot of adrenaline rush for what to expect. He also addressed rumors around his character Daryl in the spin-off alongside Melissa McBride's Carol. Dead City is set on a mission to Manhattan, featuring the merger of two flagship series, with the Isle of Manhattan being its main setting which was cut off by the US government by blowing up all of the tunnels and bridges connecting the mainland. The area has been broken into by almost a million walkers, threatening Manhattan's peace. An unusual pairing of 
Negan Smith and Maggie Ree will also be featured in the show. These two characters have never been able to see eye to eye as Maggie's husband Glenn was murdered by Negan, but apparently as time grows so does Maggie's trust upon Negan. With a main movie setting in New Jersey, Dead City will be the first direct spin-off sequel. The co-creator of the show alongside Scott Gimple, Ellie Jorn will be the showrunner for the series which is set to air on AMC and AMC+. The main casting of the show will have Jeffrey D. Morgan as Negan Smith, Lauren Cohen as Maggie Re, Karina Ortiz as Amaya, Gaius Charles as Perley Armstrong, Mahina Napoleon as Ginny, Zelko Ivanic as the Croat, and Jonathan Higginbotham as Tommaso. The plot seems equally fun as the character arcs and the teaser gives quite the curiosity weave to look forward to its release. <laughs> Crystal Lake the brains behind Hannibal, Brian Fuller, has taken charge of navigating the new expanded prequel series of the famous horror franchise Friday the 13th, which revolves around the fictional character of Jason Voorhees, who supposedly drowned at Camp Crystal Lake at a very young age due to the sheer negligence of the camp staff and has haunted the lake ever since. Throughout all the films of the franchise, Jason has been omnipresent on either committing a series of mass murders or aiding a number of killings. On the 31st of October 2022, it was announced that NBC Universal's Peacock streaming service had picked up the new Friday the 13th show as a prequel to the events of the first ever Friday the 13th movie, which was released in the year 1980 alongside Brian Fuller. The series will be under the executive production of the franchise's original writer, Victor Miller, Mark Toberoff, Rob Barsamian, and A24. Although for the now gory details of the series have been kept confidential, the new teaser, released on the 13th of November, gave a pretty epic glimpse of Jason in his eerie hockey mask glory. The opening scene of the teaser has Pamela Voorhees controlling the narrative of her lost son, followed by the cut-to-cut -cut montages of horror. The thrilling ravages of Crystal Lake in the teaser is enough to invoke a name biting curiosity in any horror enthusiast. Horror, mystery, blood, fear, grief. Seems like Crystal Lake has all the arenas covered. My favorite's the one with two heads. Wolfpack. At the New York Comic Con, the Paramount Plus panel announced their new upcoming series, Wolfpack, alongside the release of Teen Wolf the Movie. Inspired by a book series written by Ido Van Belkem, the story revolves around a teenage girl and a boy who witnessed the unraveling of a supernatural being amidst a California wildfire. While this chaos wrecks havoc, the pair, along with two other teenagers, realize that they have been bitten by a werewolf. Jeff Davis, the executive producer and writer of the show, has announced that the show is first to be aired on the 26th of January 2023. Davis has also made a multi-year deal with MTV Entertainment Studios in producing and writing Wolfpack alongside working double by producing and writing Teen Wolf the movie for Paramount+. Plus. The first teaser trailer of the show unveiled a stellar cast that includes Geller, Santoro, Jackson, Chloe Rose Robertson, Shepard, and Tyler Lawrence Gray. The teaser is power-packed with thrill, action, and drama, with the potential to make the must-watch list of every supernatural drama enthusiast. Junji Ito Maniac Japanese Tales of the Macabre One of the world's most distinctive and famous manga creators, Junji Ito, is set to get a new anime adaptation with Netflix in 2023. Although, until now, it has been tough for the creator to share his unusual but creative take on horror across the world, Junji Ito Japanese Tales of the Macabre is getting prepared for its first poster launch on Netflix. This is a revolutionary step for artists across the world as it finally opens the doors to successive shots at proper adaptation projects on deserving stories. Junji Ito Japanese Tales of the Macabre is going to adapt around 20 of the acclaimed creator stories that have never been made into an anime before and is set to release on the 19th January 2023. The previous Junji Ito collection television anime director Shinobu Tagashira has returned as the new Netflix show's character designer and director alongside Kaoru Sawada as the scriptwriter, Yuki Hayashi as the music composer, and Hozumi Goda as the sound director. This collection of horror stories will include story adaptations like Suichi, Tomi, The Room with Four Walls, The Hanging Balloons, along with the newly added stories like Library Vision, Headless Statue, Tomb Town, and Ice Cream Truck. The voice cast, the visuals, the character designs, the key art, all of the features have garnered a horde of curious eyes of the manga and anime nerds. Here's the power that's rightly yours. 
Mayfair Witches. Taking its adaptation from Anne Rice's creation of the Mayfair family of witches, AMC has finally launched its first look at the series, starring Alexandria Diodario as a young neurosurgeon who discovers that she comes from a coven of witches. As Rice's second adaptation on the network with Interview with a Vampire adapted from the best-selling novel series of The Vampire Chronicles, this series is based upon the lives of the Mayfair Witches trilogy of novels. The series stars Harry Hamlin, Jack Hudson, and Tongai Teresa alongside Alexandria Diodario. It was first picked up by the AMC in December 2021 and aimed for an eight-episode first season order to help in unraveling the provocative and mysterious world of witches come to life. In its new teaser, AMC featured the show's creepy and eerie scenes where everything supposedly gets very witchy and super dark. This series has the potential for a new outtake on the world of witches as Rice shape her supernatural women to subvert current power structures, to be often ruthless and power-driven. Mayfair Witches is all set to hit the release button on the 23rd of January 2023 on AMC and AMC+, and to help the world submerge in the powerful and magical world of the Mayfair family of witches. The Horror of Dolores Roach Based upon a hit Gimlet podcast, The Horror of Dolores Roach has been picked up by Amazon Studios to be turned into an eight-season pilot series. It is said that this podcast-turned TV show will exclusively air on Prime Video across 240-plus countries and around territories worldwide. Podcast creator Aaron Mark had created this concept of the horror of Dolores Roach as a one-woman play script casting Daphne Rubin Vega. This ruthless, grotesque, and nerve-wracking tale inspired by Sweeney Todd thrives upon the philosophy of survival of the fittest, showcasing lurid and gruesome urban legends of love, cannibalism, gentrification, and betrayal. After getting out of prison 16 years later, Illusion Hands Dolores Roach approaches the severely refurbished Washington Heights with just $200 and a clothing on her back. Dolores is reunited with her old stoner friend, Louise, after she finds out that her family is long gone and her boyfriend is missing. Louise provides her with a room and a board alongside a space in his shabby basement, where he allows her to provide massages in exchange for money. Dolores is compelled to face spine-chilling extremes to survive when she finds her newfound stability threat. Her unforeseen professional success drives Luis recklessly collegial and forces him to wreck down his weird predilections. Alongside Justina Machado starring as the protagonist, the cast also includes Keita Updike, K. Todd Freeman, and Alejandro. Although Aaron Mark has himself written the pilot script, he and Dara Resnick will be the co-showrunners and will executive produce the eight-episode Half an Hour series, along with Gloria Calderon Kellette, Roxanne Dawson, and Ruben Vega, who directed the pilot plot. Although a trailer or a teaser is yet to be released, this modern-day horror film will be a dark but humorous twist that will definitely aim to stand out for its unconventional storytelling. The Fall of the House of Usher Renowned for his limited horror series, Mike Flanagan, the big shot of modern horror, has decided to make a comeback with another limited horror series to add onto his ever-growing Flaniverse. This time, his miniseries is an adaptation from the works of the most influential and grim horror author, Edgar Allan Poe. The series is rumored to have a huge cast including a few influential names in the entertainment industry. Producer Trevor Macy announced that the series will make its way to Netflix sometime in 2023. Netflix is still making a decision on whether it should be a spring season delight in March or be held back for the spooky season from September to November. The Fall of the Usher House and Other Tales was first published in Burton's Gentleman's Magazine in 1839 by Edgar Allan Poe, which was later included in Tales of the Grotesque and Arabesque, Poe's published collection of short stories in a book. Apart from Midnight's Mass, every show directed, written, and produced by Mike Flanagan has been various adaptations of acclaimed horror novels. The show is said to incorporate all forms of mad themes, ranging from deranged family isolations and starking metaphysical identities. This gothic horror genre is seen from the point of view of a man who has witnessed some inexplicably spine-chilling supernatural occurrences in the dilapidated corridors of the Usher House. Each of Flanagan's masterpieces have a distinctive narration of a house and its history with its inhabitants. The show is an indication that this time too, the Usher House is written to have a significant role in consciousness of its 
its own. It will be narrated by an unidentified man who had been invited over to visit his ill childhood friend, Roderick Usher, who makes it clear that his twin sister Madeline was not quite dead, but placed into the family vault. But everything goes awry on Madeline's reappearance in a blood-stained shroud, causing the visitors to flee as the entire house splits into two halves and submerges into the lake. Flaniverse is extremely well known in recasting actors on a series of multiple projects and hence the faces from the hunting of the Hill House and Midnight Mass are making a comeback for the fall of the Usher House. Among some of the returning faces, most famous ones include Kate Siegel, Carla Gugino, Zach Guilford, Henry Thomas, Rahul Kohli, Samantha Sloyan, and Michael Truco. Earlier in April 2022, Frank Langella, who was shooting for the show's lead patriarch of the Usher dynasty, was reportedly replaced by Bruce Greenwood. Stranger Things On February 17th, the Duffer Brothers announced that our favorite Super Squad is making their way back to Hawkins for a final season of Grand Battle with the Upside Down. The last season set very high standards with Vecna's conquest and the grand rescue of Jim Hopper from the clutches of the Russian government. Every year on November 7th, Netflix celebrates Stranger Things Day to commemorate the day in which Will Byers went missing in 1983, but fans were gifted with the assurance of the final season, the story arc of which is still under wraps. All we know is that a photo of the official script for the final season was released, Chapter 1, The Crawl, later from a photo titled Grid Stage. Fans knew to expect eight episodes for the final season with a possible hint of a time jump in between. The last season ended with Hawkins looking like a replicated blueprint of the Upside Down after Vecna's fourth kill opened up the fourth gate. Will Byers can feel the Mind Flayer and hence gives fans the satisfaction of seeing Vecna's glory as the prime, all-powerful and antagonist in action against Eleven and her friends for the series finale. It is rumored that the time jump will go in circles with a lot of story arcs in the first season, but the fate of Max in a coma still remains a mystery to all. Although the release date has remained cryptic, the old casting remains the same with no new faces announced to air as of yet. Stranger Things have set inexplicably high standards with its perfectly fulfilling cinematic scope, story arcs, and character design. It is what a good thriller should be, a little bit of everything in perfect balance thus giving us a lot to look forward to in the coming year. Alien TV Series Alien has been one of the most anticipated science fiction projects for Noah Hawley, but he has assured the fans that filming for the prequel is to begin in 2023. The iconic Ridley Scott universe of science fiction will expand to small screen soon with a prequel to the original horror movie. FX chief John Landgraf has claimed that the show would debut in 2023 itself if the production ends on time, as the scripts of the series have already been penned down. The focal point of the plot is the period before Sigourney Weaver's Ripley without the original Alien movie included. Although the casting news has still been kept under wraps, Ridley Scott, the director of the original 1979 movie, is a producer of the series and will make sure of it that the renewed take on the original lore of the Xenomorph will exceed the expectations of the fans who still can't get enough of the original thriller after all these years. Holly's plot will supposedly be set on Earth at the very end of the 21st century. As Scott's Alien was set in 2122, the new series must proceed it by at least three decades, but it was confirmed that the plot will incorporate fresh character arcs and there shall be no character reappearances from any of the existing Alien movies, other than of course, the Alien itself. The story arc will dive into the future of the planet in terms of governance, environment, technology, and will uphold a highly futuristic version of the present day's Earth. Alien TV series promises to be an extension of the old franchise while reinventing it at the same time, distinctive but in an original Noah Hawley way. The Wicker Man. The cult horror classic is making a comeback to the small screen under the penmanship of Howard Overman, the concept creator of The Warmed Worlds and Misfits. After its 2006 adaptation featuring Nicolas Cage, The Wicker Man has been picked up by Urban Myth Films and The Imaginarium, Andy Serkis and Jonathan Cavendish's production company. The original classic starring Christopher Lee and Edward Woodward followed a Christian police sergeant journeying to the remote Hebridean island of Summer Isle 
Isle to investigate the sudden disappearance of a young girl, only to find the Islanders worshipping the pagan Celtic gods of their ancestors, followed by a tragic ending. Although a few remakes have been made of the original for the big screen, the small screen was yet to revisit its themes of superstition, sacrifice, and rituals. The show was indicatively being created into a shocking, bold, and unique series, playing around with the mortifying themes of horror and power from the original Wicker Man into a modern, contemporary, thrilling setting. The show is yet to be pitched to its potential broadcasters, hence the cast is still undecided. Production is to begin in early 2023, but fans are yet to know of the release date for this folk horror classic. Orphan Black Echoes The surprise announcement of a spin-off for Orphan Black Echoes drove the fans crazy as the series is set to make it to the small screen debut in 2023 with 10 episodes. Although it won't be a direct sequel to its predecessor, the hype increased when the Clone Club was revealed to make its comeback with Kristen Ritter in the lead role. The plot will apparently delve deeper into exploring the scientific manipulation of human existence set in the future. The plot maps a group of women weaving their way into each other's lives as they plunge into a journey to unravel the mystery behind their identities and unwrap the heart-wrenching story of betrayal and love. The current plot will see Ritter as Lucy trying to find her place in the world with a burden of an unimaginable origin story. The cast will also include Keely Hollis, Avon Jugia, and Amanda Fix. Anna Fishko and the original Orphan Black creator John Fawcett will be the writers, creators, and showrunners for the series alongside executive producers Ivan Schneeberg and David Fortier. The loyal fanbase are waiting like hawks for the show to make the small screens, which will stream on AMC Plus sometime in 2023. Battlestar Galactica After several years invested in developing the new Battlestar Galactica film, followed by a one-year road without any updates on the film, Simon Kinberg has finally announced that he is to co-write and produce the Enterprise alongside Dylan Clark, and they are currently in the lookout for directors for an eye to roll its productions in 2023. They also assured that the movie will be a huge one and would take time to make it to the screen. The most interesting factor catching the attention of Battlestar Galactica fans are the rumors of a shared universe with another TV reboot developed by Peacock, connecting Kinberg with Esmail to create a distinctive project. Kinberg assured the fans that the new spin-off will not limit itself to be a simple continuation of a remake of the Ron Moore masterpiece and will undoubtedly live up to the standards of the best sci-fi series ever made. I took care of them. They're good as new. Maybe a little better. Star Wars Ahsoka Star Wars geeks are officially ready with their lightsabers as the character of Ahsoka Tano finally got her own series under Disney Plus's expansion of the Star Wars universe. After the character's debut in Season 2 of The Mandalorian, Ahsoka became a fan-favorite character in her live action. This female-centric series first saw Ahsoka in the animated series of Clone Wars. With its ongoing production, the series is all set to rave in 2023 with its special effects and CGI. In The Jedi, Ahsoka was looking for Grand Admiral Thrawn, who had disappeared into the unknown regions with Ezra Bridger. The epilogue of the series shows Ahsoka taking off with Sabine Wren to search for their Jedi friend. The world between worlds appears to be a factor in some way, according to the official title card of the show, the realm outside of time appeared in a Rebels episode and it was how Ahsoka escaped being killed by Darth Vader. The story of Ahsoka is rather continuous as it is moving in the direction of a goal rather than being a series of isolated adventures, specifically catering to what fans actually want right now. Rosario Dawson is set to depict Ahsoka Tano as the protagonist, besides that we have Hayden Christensen, Natasha Lou Bordizo, Ivana Sacno, Emma Nisfandi, Mary Elizabeth, and Ray Stevenson for the cast of the show's reprising role. Besides that, John Favreau and Dave Filoni are the showrunners for this new Star Wars franchise. Although Peter Ramsey is set to direct at least one episode of the show, the fans are yet to know how many episodes the show will actually comprise of. Lockwood & Company After an exciting year of Supernatural releases, Netflix is here with its latest exciting Supernatural enterprise, Lockwood & Company, set to release on 27th January 2023. Joe Cornish's first TV project and new series is adopted from Jonathan Stroud's book series by the same name. This eight-part show 
has already taken its audience by a one-minute teaser on 26 October 2022. Starring Ruby Stokes as Lucy, Ali Haji Hashmati as George Cubans, and Cameron Chapman as Anthony Lockwood. Ivano Jeremiah, Luke Tradeway, Morbin Christie, and Ben Thompson are amongst others who were casted for supporting roles in the series. The plot is set in a world that has been overrun by a ghost epidemic making it technologically limited. People still surviving are compelled to go on in a world ridden by spirits whose instant touch can and cause immediate death. An amateur startup company, Lockwood & Company, portrays three gifted teens, Lucy, Anthony Lockwood, and George Cuban, who become ghost hunters and battle against deadly spirits on their own. Without any adult supervision, Lucy emits extremely unique psychic abilities and keeps the haunted streets of London safe, along with two of her mates, battling the undead every passing night. The teaser showed adrenaline-pumping combat skills, clubbed with a raving crew fighting raging spirits. Scavengers Reign The adult sci-fi animated drama Scavengers Reign is set to turn into a TV series by the order of HBO Max and is prepping to premiere in 2023. The Titmouse animation series first unwrapped with a short teaser of the series at the Annecy Animation Festival. Scavengers Reign will be co-created by writers, animators, and directors Charles Huettner and Joe Bennett, who will also be its executive producers alongside Benji Brook, who will be the supervising director. Chris Pernoski, Shannon Pernoski, Antonio Can Nobio and Ben Kalina are the current executive producers for Titmouse. The series is being co-executive produced by James Merrill and Sean Bucklow for Green Street Pictures. The plot maps a crew of surviving members of a deeply wrecked space freighter who are stranded upon a beautiful yet deadly planet. On their quest as a numbered crew, they eventually learn and discover the true nature of the planet and fight to survive long enough until they either escape or are rescued. The Lazarus Project It is now official that Sky Max's sci-fi thriller The Lazarus Project is set to make a comeback for a second season in 2023. Built as a hybrid show for Doctor Who and Spooks, this time-bending drama will gear fans up for another espionage venture of thrilling rides across multiple timelines. The show will come back for another eight episodes following George, a regular individual whose life drastically changes when he learns that he holds the capacity of manipulating time and space. He is recruited by a covert organization that has missioned him to save the world from extinction events by incorporating time shifting as a method to prevent the mishaps. George is stuck in crossroads when he finds himself torn, forced to choose between his destiny and love. Joe Barton, the show's writer and director, has revealed possible plot themes engaging warp antagonists in the form of ex-agents who have gone rogue using their abilities to manipulate time to sabotage the organization's efforts to save the world. This show will deal with the morality of the organization playing God and the repercussions that come along with it. The new season will see Anjali Mohindra and Rudy Dharmalingam reprising their roles. Fans are in for a treat as the upcoming season has mind-bending and thrilling adventures in store. What? They can't be right. Quantum Leap NBC's Quantum Leap has taken a mid-season break after airing eight episodes and leaving the fans with a cliffhanger showing that Dr. Sam Beckett never returned home. To our relief, Quantum Leap is set to release its other half on 2nd of January 2023. The plot follows a quantum physicist, Dr. Ben Song, who stepped in Dr. Samuel Beckett's shoes by entering the Quantum Leap Accelerator. The relaunched series focuses upon the present day with a more serialized narrative and no doubt has a very strong cast. Although the mid-series had a launch departure, it promises a fulfilling comeback with all viable answers. The relaunched series is driven by a single mystery. Ben managed to figure out how to build up enough temporal momentum in between leaps to actually reach the future. The mid-season finale unraveled that Ben is working to save his fiance Addison from an unforeseen tragedy. This foreknowledge appeared due to an encounter with another similar leaper who came from the future, one who unintentionally blurted out information about events that is yet to come. Quantum Leap has been using time travel as much more than just just a mere plot device, only meaning that Quantum Leap's relaunch should involve many escapades unlike anything ever seen by Dr. Sam Beckett.
for All Mankind. After three blockbuster seasons, For All Mankind is set to come back with another season. The show revolves around an alternative universe wherein Russia has beaten America to the moon. The sci-fi drama had the original cast killed by the end of season three with a revolting shift in timelines. The previous season's finale ended on a bunch of dramatic reveals. Ahead are some spoilers if you haven't experienced the pumping adrenaline for all mankind has to offer. Kelly Baldwin was literally seen rocketing from Mars to space while she was pregnant and suffering from preeclampsia during the incident. Baldwin's father has also crashed back to Mars and survives, but his ex-wife Karen dies a fatal death as a massive car bomb blasted off at the Johnson Space Center, which was a planned act of domestic terrorism carried out by the comrades of Jimmy Steven, killing her and Molly Cobb who died helping other victims. At the seeming end of the finale, the show reveals Margot to be alive and in perfect health. She had managed to escape the Soviet Union and is on the run so she wouldn't be held accountable by the FBI for helping the Russians. The show ends with a shocking revelation that neither the Soviet Union nor the US was the first nation to get on Mars, but it was actually North Korea who got there first. Fans are rooting for a nail-biting experience and the upcoming season seems to have kept them on their toes, for it might contain a lot of answers to their questions after a plethora of revelations. Conclusion. The list of horror and science fiction shows in 2023 sees a lot of old franchise remakes and prequels making their comebacks through small screens. Even with a lot of series being adaptations from existing works of literature, it is safe to say that the upcoming year will keep our horror and science fiction geeks on their toes with so many potential blockbuster launches and promising releases throughout the year. 2023 shows a lot of promise when it comes to diverse story arcs, quality content, and thrilling cinematography with epic characters designs. Each glimpse of teaser hints towards a promising plot and a thrilling experience full of adventures on the screen. Please let us know in the comment box below about your thoughts on these upcoming TV shows and series. And do not forget to tell us which of the shows you're waiting on the most intently. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on our next video.